and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today I'm going to answer a question that I often get about water watering, and that is, will chlorine and fluoride harm my houseplants? What do I do? What kind of water do I use? How do I get rid of the, the, the chlorine and fluoride, etc.? So, first of all, in general, tap water, well water, rainwater, snow melt are all okay to use on your houseplants if it's warm to room temperature or, or warm. Chlorine is added to drinking water. And in general, it doesn't harm most plants, but some plants will develop leaf tip burn, like the Dracaenas, like this beauty here, which was actually just in a video where I pruned off uh, some of those brown leaf tips. So there are certain sensitive plants that will be bothered by chlorine and fluoride in the water, okay? So if you're getting brown leaf tips, and I do have a video on brown leaf tips, and you determine it is the water, then there are things that you're gonna want to do to try to minimize the damage, the leaf tip burn, etc. cetera. So uh, that being said, you have, you have a plant sensitive to, to tip burn, and then your water appears to be doing that to the plants. So you can, with chlorine, to get chlorine out of water, you can leave it in a bucket or even in, in, in a watering can, although something with a wider uh, opening is better and the, uh, the chlorine will dissipate out into, into evaporate out into the, um, into the atmosphere and go away after 24 hours. Uh, so that is um, the chlorine. Fluoride, however, cannot be removed that way. And uh, some plants, as mentioned, will also be uh, sensitive to fluoride. Uh, spider plants, another plant that will get that leaf tip burn sometimes from the fluoride. So what happens with the leaf tip burns is the, plant, the, the plants are trying to cycle that, the, those chemicals out and it gets stuck at the end of the leaf is what's happening because plants transpire when they transpire they release uh, water moisture from their leaves and it just doesn't make it all the way in certain types of especially long strappy leaves like on the dracaenas and on the spider plant all right so you've got this fluoride stuck in your water so what do you do so if you're having a lot of problems with that with the brown leaf tips every you tried everything else nothing else is what working then go ahead and start watering with distilled water. You can also water from water with the water collected from a dehumidifier because that, de that does take out the fluoride and the chlorine too as well. So those are two things that you can, that you can do to stop this process of, of leaf tip burn if, uh, if it continues. Uh, rainwater, also another um, good choice as well. So, and snow water, so you can collect that water and use that instead. So that is what you want to do uh, if you're having problems with the chloride, the cl chlorine and the fluoride. Uh, made a new word, chloride. No, I don't think it is a new word. Anyway, <laughs> so the, the, those, those are some tips for um, dealing with that. And that should help you uh, with this problem of what to do if there's chlorine and fluoride in my water and my houseplants are being harmed by it. And as mentioned, if your houseplants seem okay, then it's probably okay. Uh, there's probably not a problem, but if you start to see certain signs that you think are from a, a buildup from these, uh, these, these, uh, these minerals in your um, water, then, then distilled water, uh, rainwater, snow water are better choices. And distilled is, if you want to be really, really sure, distilled is the best because distilled has everything taken out of it. So there you go. Uh, reverse osmosis water is also a good choice, uh, can also be a good choice as well. 
So, but your best bet, as mentioned, if you really want to make sure that there's, there's no, uh, no chlorine, no fluoride in your water, will be that distilled water. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.